I stopped watching this movie. I stopped watching this movie. I took a picture of me sobbing watching this movie because I sobbed. Yes, I sobbed. That's me sobbing with glasses on. There's me sobbing without glasses on. There's another one and one more. If you're wondering, um, I take pictures for the cry count. <laughs> so it wasn't just me taking a picture of me crying because I could. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about The Four Diamonds. The Four Diamonds is a 1995 Disney television release. It is directed by Peter Werner, cinematography by Neil Roach, editing by Corky Ellers, music by Phil Marshall, and it's written by Todd Robinson. Peter Werner is best known for mood lighting in The Region of Ice, Proof, and LBJ The Early Years. Neil Roach is best known for The Whole Ten Yards, Police Academy, Six City Under Siege, Southern Comfort, and Silent Rage. Corky Ellers, I covered in the video about the parent trip Two and Phil Marshall, I covered in the video about student exchange. Both links will be in the description. Todd Robinson is best known for The Last Full Measure, White Squall, Lonely Hearts, and Phantom. The film is based off a true story and also a fictional short story written by and about Christopher Millard. Christopher Millard was a 14 year old boy who had terminal cancer and when he went to school at the beginning of the semester in the fall, his English teacher asked everyone to write what they did, write about what they did over the summer and Christopher spent all summer in chemotherapy and treatment and he asked his teacher if he could write about something else because he really didn't want to write about his treatment. She said yes, anything you'd like. So he wrote a short story called The Four Diamonds and it's about a young boy who has to prove his knighthood by obtaining the four diamonds and there's a quest for each diamond and this short story became pretty famous and was the inspiration for the Four Diamonds Fund for Children, which is a cancer charity for children, after um, Chris Millard passed away. The film stars Tom Guyry, Christine Lottie, Kevin Dunn, Jane Brooks, Sarah Rose Carr, and Michael Bacall. Tom Guyry plays Chris Millard slash Squire Millard and is best known for Mystic River, The Sandlot, Black Hawk Down, and U571. Christine Lottie plays Dr. Burke slash Sorceress Reptenahan and is best known for Chicago Hope, Jack and Bobby, Running on Empty, and Swing Shift. Kevin Dunn plays Charles Millard slash Charles the Mysterious and is best known for the Transformers original trilogy with Sam and Wiki, he's the dad. Um, Dave and Warrior. Jane Brooke plays Irma Millard and the Hermit of the Lagoon, and she's best known for Chicago Hope, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, Boston Legal, and Gattaca. Sarah Rose Carr plays Stacy and is best known for Kindergarten Cop, Beethoven 1 and 2, and Father of the Bride. Michael Bacall plays Tony and is best known for Inglorious Bastards, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Death Proof, and 21 Jump Street. Okay. Uh, so this movie wrecked me. Let me start off by saying that. I probably cried like an ugly cry for 20 plus minutes of this film. Definitely the last 15. And then there was somewhere in the middle where I got emotional and shed a couple tears. But definitely cried 20 plus minutes of the film. So let me get that out of the way. I liked it. I thought it was cute. I have small critiques like it was kind of slowly paced but you know whatever and it was a little you know I don't know. I wish the like the, the fa fairy tale aspect of it, the part where they were like doing the medieval stuff, you know, the, the imagination part, I wish that had been more fantastical and more amazing, even like to take him out of his real world so much more. Otherwise, the movie wrecked me. I thought it was excellent. What, I, can you watch a movie about a kid with cancer and not get totally emotional? I doubt it. It was excellent. Uh, in that regard. Uh, it wasn't amazing technically, it was very average technically, but the music and the story of Chris, especially because it was based on a real Christopher Millard who went through all of that, was very touching and really sad. That's everything I have for The Four Diamonds. I thought it was very good but the technical aspects of the film definitely pull it down. But I sobbed, so definitely give it a watch. I would definitely recommend watching the film. My final rating is six diamonds out of 10. Our total movie count is 
cry count is. <laughs> Parent death toll is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. Join my Patreon. Seriously, go check out all the fun bonus stuff going on over there. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not sure that you are, so you do, and don't be freaking cancer. <laughs> This movie wrecked me, guys. Wrecked me.